Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're breaking down the new Zoro and Sanji dual unit Super Sigo for the New Year's celebration. And you guys said in my community post that you guys are most excited for this particular character, and after reading that kit, I do understand why. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to bell the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell notification so you can check out all of the other information and all the New Year's content that will be coming alongside this celebration. But, as mentioned in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Zoro and Sanji. The wings to become the king. The dual unit of Zoro vs. King and Sanji vs. Queen. Kind of a bit of a scuffed unit, just chucking them together. Throwing them in and just saying, hey, let's see what we can get out of Zoro and Sanji as the Pirate King to be's right hand and left hand wing, as we're going to call it, I guess. So, our world looks phenomenal. Let's take a look at the actual unit itself. They are a dual character with super tandem. So, this celebration, oh, this celebration is showing that it's going to have a super tandem, a final tap, and a rush character. And all of them are built up around the slasher Meta. Just looking at Zoro and Sanji straight off, we can see they're a dex and a quick unit. They have Super Tandem Fear, and they have Critical Hit, which is very interesting because the new um, Roger Odin will definitely benefit by this particular ability. They go down to 14 turns of cooldown with their Limit Break expansion, and they are a Super EX character. Very, very nice to see. Their special launching as a double character will have a stronger effect, just like Yamato deals 300 times their attack in non-type damage to all enemies ignoring defense. They remove threshold and defense up by 7 turns, further increase attack and slot effects by 0.5, boost the chain multiplier by 1.75 and 2.0 plus. So, massive, massive chain additions. Like, this is a disgustingly high chain addition. And if your captain is Slasher or Free Spirit, changes the crew's first... Class to Slasher, and second class to Free Spirit for three turns. This is a completely new buff. We've seen it with uh, Bon Clay being turned into um, the, himself, but now you can turn everyone into a Slasher or a Free Spirit. This works exceptionally well for stuff like Gear 5 and having that Free Spirit buff. It works exceptionally well for Kadad and his final tap. Now everyone is going to be a Slasher, and all that damage is going to get banked into their final tap. So, very, very powerful mechanic that is definitely going to see play. How much play, I'm a little bit uncertain of, but the ability to increase attack boost, increase orb effects, and do all that shenanigans with chain on top of the utility of threshold and defense up is an insanely powerful special. Now, this is in their dual form. So, you are going to want to get them in their dual form as much as possible to get this ability. So, it does obviously hinder on the fact of how many switches they get and hopefully we'll check out the database at the end and hopefully that information will be there um but if it's not we'll have to wait and see once we get the information in game the captain ability though is um pretty stock standard like it's it's not exactly a novel like some of the other characters of this celebration reduces crew special charge by one turn at the start of the fight boost fighter slasher striker shooter driven and free spirit characters hp by 1.5 an attack of 2.45 approximately six times if the character has two of these classes now remember with the zoro sanji special everyone will eventually be slasher and free spirit for three turns so you're going to get this six times captain for your entire crew if you are running this unit as a captain makes dex quick recovery and tanner source have matching slot effects you eat recovery slots with perfect and reduces fear by 10 turns allowing two turns of overheal as well so pretty stock standard captain ability but very strong at six times great hp buff um great class selection and matching orbs is great plus the first um utility of fear in the captain ability which is awesome but i think they really want you to use this character as a crewmate um Obviously, being the wings of the Pirate King, it does make sense for them to, to be a support. They make tandem and recovery slots have matching slots for... Uh, matching slots, and dex and quick slots have matching slots as well. They allow you to eat recovery slots with perfect taps for themselves, and when the captain is a slasher or free spirit, adds 0.1 to the chain multiplier minimum, which is a stackable effect, which is just wild. They also remove one turn of despair just by being on the crew. So... Their, camp, their, their crewmate abilities are just wild. Some of the best crewmate abilities we've seen in the game. Plus, like, look how many... Sl they're giving four matching slots, which is, well, two to the crew and then two to themselves. So, like, it's kind of nuts. Plus, they eat recovery orbs with perfects, which is super, super crazy. They are a super EX unit. And um, when the character is Zora Sanji with the super switch effect, um, going into their dual form, you can activate this ability. It does seem that this 
can't be used as a sailor though. So they really want you to use them as a captain. If you are on it, can be launched as as a crewmate. So very very nice to see that they can do this as a crewmate. Um, so like I said, this is like a kid law support character where if they are a sub, they're going to get that access access that ability as well. Basically, any of the straw hats, including kid law Yamato and Momonosuke, plus Hiori and all of the scabbards are here as well. Very very nice super selection. They are going to make slash and free spirits chain multiply growth go up to 0.7 with perfects, and then make super slashes and super free spirit. Which remember, they are going to make everyone slashes and free spirit. So you're getting a double super class for your entire crew for three turns, which is just absolutely bonkers plus this tap effect is going to affect them um by them i mean every single character on your team provided your captain is a free spirit or slasher to start with so that's super interesting their switchability gives adjacent orbs tandem which is really really nice because super tandem characters they really really need this tandem like tandem orbs and just getting them this way is awesome plus you get an attack and orb effect boost at 1.3 times that can be overwritten which is good and it's bad the reason it's good is because you have if you have a better attack booster you're going to get that better attack boost but it's bad because if you have a better three turn attack boost, the overridable effect will only allow that attack boost to be one turn. I was doing some testing with Shanks and I was using Rayleigh Gabon. When you use the super swap of Rayleigh Gabon or the swap with the overridable attack boost and then you use a character that's normally a three turn attack boost or a two turn attack boost, it will only be one turn because it's overriding what's already there in terms of the turn counter. So this can be good, but it also can be bad. But the fact that you're getting an attack boost and a slot effect boost for your entire crew every single turn uh, just like Roger and Odin, uh, Roger Whitebeard, it was incredibly powerful. It still is incredibly powerful, and this is just absolutely disgusting. Plus, Tanner Mobs are matching for your entire crew with them as a sailor. As their super swap, they go into their dual form for three turns, and then they also rotate crew's slots, including block slots, into tandem mobs. So you get a full board of tandem mobs with their super swap, a 2.25 times attack and orbus that can still be overridden for one turn, and then they become their Zoro Sanji form. So very, 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 very powerful sailor, um, to say the least. Um, they also have a super tandem ability with any of the characters that were mentioned, I believe, in their super EX. You've got... Uh, any of the Straw Hats, Momo, Hiyori, um, is Yamato there? I think, oh no, yep, Yamato's up top here. And then you have any of the, um, what's it called? Any of the Scabbards plus Law and Kid, plus the crew must include one of the following being either Luffy or Yamato. So you are going to need a Luffy Yamato, which is very easy to do because, like, Yamato's getting crazy amount of Super Sugos and Luffy's Luffy. Uh, applies an attack boost tandem of 2.5 to Slash and Free Spirits, which, again, it's going to be your entire crew because of their crazy ability. Changes the attack multiplier of Dex, Wano, Recovery, and Tandem Rainbow slots to 2.75 when the slots match, and then um, that's basically it. Um, very, very good Super Tandem ability. You can use this every single turn. Um, you only have to tap with two characters. It's basically the same as Super Tandem Luffy's, but with the extra multiplier in there too. So that Super Tandem, it's not terrible. Um, it depends on who you're using with them. The 2.75 is really, really strong, but when you have that three times multiplier of gear five, uh, that's probably going to see a little bit more of an effectiveness. But remember, these guys are giving a full board of Tandem Wars with their Super Swap, the 2.75 in their kit, and the way that it all synergizes is incredibly powerful. As a sub, this unit's going to go to the absolute moon, and I'm very interested to see what Luffy will be coming later down the line for this particular unit to work exceptionally well with. We obviously have Gear 5 in the game, and, and Gear 5 is very, very good, but this character's really honing in on slashes, or free spirits and slashes, and whilst this character can work exceptionally well with Gear 5, and will work really, really well with Gear 5, they are going to directly replace the Zoro and the Sanji that, again, already work exceptionally well with Gear 5 per se. But all these characters, uh, well, the Yamato and the Zoro Sanji, they're going to be basically just slide-ins for Gear 5 teams. Um, that way you can still use the Gear 5 Rush. And because they're both Dex and um, Quick, if you're running the Rainbow team for Gear 5, you can choose which version of Yamato you want to be and which version of Zoro Sanji you want to be. So that way you can do some really, really, really cool stuff there. So very, very powerful character. As a whole, just looking at the unit without any other buffs, 2.75 attack and or boost with their with their special defense up threshold removal 1.75 times chain a 2.0 multiplier and then the one the 0.7 for the taps turning everyone into these two classes which they can be a super ex4 this character is busted like this character is so freaking strong that um it's just it's it's disgusting 
what we're going to see from this particular unit. So um, that's them in regular play. Um, Slashes is just going absolutely bonkers lately. Um, but let's take a look at what they do in Rumble now because Slashes are just going to go probably to like the one of the best teams in the game with all these buffs. Um, they are a slasher free spirit unit. Obviously, as a dual unit, they don't have a type. They are a specialty type. And they go to a 30 second cooldown, which is pretty high. Target slasher teammates um, for attack up level 8 with their special spe speed level 8, defense up level 5. And when Luffy, Nami, Usopp, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, Brooke, or Jinbei on the team, gives slasher teammates 100% chance for haste. Now, this might seem really challenging to do. Because there are not a lot of straw hats that are slashes. However, the slash team is sort of built around a six-man team. And there is a brook that is a one-cost unit. There's also a chopper, I believe, that you can just chuck on the back of your team as just that one-cost unit. And then that way, you're going to get access to this ability. So this is so, so strong. Level 8 attack and speed is nuts. Plus a cheeky little level 5 defense is nice. 100% chance the haste is kind of disgusting too, especially when you have Roger Whitebeard on the same team. And if this goes before that, it's going to be curtains for two units, which is just absolutely nuts. Their rumble ability is going to give level 6 HP, level 6 speed to slashes. Attack up level 5, defense up level 5. And then if you have any of those units again, they're going to give themselves level 5 defense and level 10 attack, which is just crazy. After 50 seconds of battle in GP, their burst is going to... Um, Target strength and dex enemies for 6,000 damage and a 50% delay. If your team is 5 teammates or less, targets team for level 8 defense up. So you're probably going to see the damage more than the actual defense up. Um, and you do want to be running, uh, or you do want to be versing, sorry, strength and dex based teams. So this is very uh, selective and it's probably not exactly the greatest when you are using them uh, like in the, the later stages of Grand Party. At uh, level 5 uh, passive, they give HP speed up level 4, defense up level 2, and then strength and dex teammate, uh, sorry, strength and dex enemies get attack, HP level 5, CT down level 4. So they're doing a lot of nerfing, but like they are a rainbow booster, which is very nice. Um, they're just not a super high rainbow booster, but they're doing a lot of nerfing to strength and dex. So if you can see a strength and dex team that you're coming up against in the early stages, this unit's going to be good, but honestly, in grand party, they do seem incredibly mid as a leader. But this ability here, um, the amount of attack they're giving, easily having that, that Brook, as I mentioned, on the team, and then giving haste and stuff. They could see some really, really, really nice play in Rumble. And Slashes are going to go to the absolute goddamn moon. But Zoro Sanji are just their demons, and I understand why you guys are most keen for this unit. Because they do bring a very interesting mechanic. They do do some incredibly nice stuff with their buffs. Again, just like Yamato, though, it is going to be interesting to see what it looks like with their super swap and how many swaps you actually need to get that done. Because as a sailor, as a captain, they don't have a way to actually give themselves super swap charge. Unfortunately, the database doesn't have the super swap charges. Oh, no, it does right there. Seven swaps. I'm such a fool. So seven swaps to get into their dual form is incredibly high and they don't have the ability to reduce that. Um, so unfortunately, that is going to be the big hindrance to the unit. Um, but in boosted content where you get that swap anyway, it's not going to be a big deal. But in regular play, just like stuff like Luffy Yamato, just like Kid Law, this is what's going to hold them back from being that monstrous powerhouse. But as for a big damage teams, which is what we're sort of looking at at New Year's, New Year's is always about big damage teams. Um, and obviously great, like, support for, like, newer players. Um, but th this for big damage is just, it's going to go to the absolute wazoo. As um, captains, they basically both give the cooldowns. They both do the, the captains of the two classes. I believe Sanji is going to eat the... Um, oh, hang on. Here we go. Um, Sanji's going to eat the recovery orbs. But when um, you tap on the character with the recovery or tandem orb, you're going to get one switch effect swap as, like charge as well. So they do have an ability to give themselves with tandem and Wano by the look of it with um, Zoro. So... You are going to have the ability of getting a super swap charge with them as a captain, which is very, very good. They definitely need that. Um, just like Luffy Yamato with taking damage or killing units, um, Kid Law with using specials. Obviously, it's going to be subjective to actually getting these recovery and these tandem orbs. Um, but it is nice that they have a way of actually getting that. 
Again, I still think the biggest holdback for this unit is going to be getting into that dual form. Um, but, oh, hang on. And then their Sailor ability. Here we go. Their Sailor ability also has the switch effect, effect as well. Um, when they tap on 10 and recovery a 1 or as well. So that's, that's actually really, really good. Because, again, this unit is going to see most of their play, in my opinion, as a Sailor. So... This addition is great. Um, it's definitely one that they needed, and I'm really glad that they added them in. But let me know your thoughts and opinions of Zoro and Sanji, the Super Sugo dual unit that is coming for the New Year celebration in the comment section below. While you're down there, bell the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!